So, Steve, there's been a doom drought, no pun intended. This film is supposedly coming out like December 26th. I don't think it's going to come out in December. I don't know whether it should. But yeah, and we, we've seen nothing, no trailers. We got some set photos, but... Apparently a trailer's coming uh, when... Christopher Nolan's new movie, yes. Tenant. I think it's like in two weeks or something. Yeah, yeah. It was meant to drop ages ago, but you know, of course, the whole world was thrown up into fucking... Just chaos. things couldn't get any more chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I woke up and there was like an hour long interview with Denise Villeneuve. And I was like, holy shit, <laughs> there is some content of this film I'm looking for. He was to. talking about like how he's having like an existential crisis because he couldn't. Mm -hmm. And like they wrapped up, uh, they, they just as they wrapped up film. They filmed, they, yeah, they, they finished primary shooting, then he was going to edit and then uh, do reshoot. Re yeah, yeah. 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 And then COVID happened. I love how brutally honest he was too, because like, you know, all the uh, press and publicity around Disney so like sanitized and a bunch of big like uh, corporations do that now. They don't let all the drama, no, yeah. they try to pull the drama Well, you in. sign like, it's like the Star Wars guys mm -hmm. or whatever, you sign all the, all yeah. the crap. You can't, can't bitch can't about Disney, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise your career will be flushed down the toilet. Well, I would love to be a fly on the wall. <laughs> Who's the guy that did the, the second Star Wars movie? Yeah. Ryan Johnson, <laughs> and there were a bunch of them that they fired, like yeah, yeah, the and solo shit. guys, yeah, the yeah, guys. fired, <laughs> and they come out like, oh, we love Disney, yeah, like, yeah, they fired yeah, us. Yeah, it was just creative differences, you know. We really <laughs> just couldn't enter, we couldn't meet in the middle of some of the we, things. We decided to leave eighty percent through the filming process. <laughs> Seemed like the right decision. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for uh, Dennis or Denis to get kicked. <laughs> I hope not. Re reshoot fifty percent of it. <laughs> they do the David Lynch thing again. <laughs> well, they do the they do the uh, the fantastic the, the fan four stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be like a body horror fucking uh, movie, and they're like, nah. And they bring back the blonde, and then they replace one of the act. They replace the actress that's gonna play Jessica with some blonde. Yeah, person, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. A wig or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can clearly tell all the reshoots. <laughs> it was like Justice League where Henry Cavill's yeah. upper lip is CGI. So you know all the reshoots. What movie was he playing? Mission Impossible. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Was. He, he was contractually obligated not to shave off his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, nah, fuck you. Yeah, yeah fuck you. Yeah. I, don't, I don't fucking give a yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my money and fucking suck a yeah, dick. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Mission, that Mission Impossible movie. Excellent. I haven't seen it. But Have you I, seen it? You should. I haven't, but way better than Batman vs. Oh, yeah. or Justice League or whatever that fucking pilot. Like there's crap. a scene, there's a scene, oh, this is not Doom now. <laughs> there's a scene, there's a scene where Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise and, and Henry Cavill are jumping out of a fucking an airplane. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. This is so fucking cool. I heard some rumor that they're going to go to space in the next one. Because, <laughs> like, like, he's flying his own helicopters now and he's jumping off buildings and he did that thing where he held onto the plane for real. And yeah, shit. yeah, well, he does his own fucking stunts and that it's like. That plane thing is insane. Well, you watch it. Well, he dived out of an airplane for this scene, right? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like, what is it? And it's like, man, that's so A 60 cool. year old man. <laughs> and you got to, you got to, I've got to give it to him, right? These latest, I think it's the last two missions. Impossible movies. Mm. Actually, really excellent action. Movies. I've heard that endlessly, but yeah. I've not yet watched them. I mean, I've seen the first. You're just going to get over your Tom Cruise. Yeah, thing yeah, yeah, day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, apparently he's a nice guy. It's just a Scientology thing. He's crazy. That's fine. Well, it's it's that it's that he's like the most famous actor on the planet or something. Yeah, and, and you get that. <coughs> you pity. You get like a perception of him that yeah. you get through like the media. And it's like. <coughs> oh, he's so full of himself, and he's so this, and he's mm. crazy, and he's this, and it's like that. He's Tom Cruise. Yeah, he's a fucking actor. Whatever, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. He's one of the most known people on the face of the planet. Like, <laughs> he's allowed to be a little. I bit said to somebody. I said to somebody ages ago, because like you know, you you get this idea that he's like vain, and he might he might be vain or whatever. I think maybe you've got to be vain to be an actor. As yeah, well. to a certain degree. But he's got his tooth. Mm. His te the, the 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 gap in his teeth isn't in the middle of his face. So if you actually look, um, this tooth yeah, is in the middle of his face. Yeah, so all these yeah. teeth are like shifted. And I remember saying to someone ages ago, I wonder if he like, like obsesses about it. Yeah. Like he looks at himself in the mirror. Apparently our perception of beauty, a lot of it is based on symmetry. Yeah. It's not about like particularly like structure or anything. It's just like, yeah, yeah. Symmetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah which is interesting. Symmetry and like square jaw lines mm. and so like, angular yeah. features. Well, I guess like, not having a symmetrical face would imply like you have some type of genetic 
issue. I like, I like asymmetry sometimes. Yeah. Like yeah, when, yeah. When, when, when I'm definitely not a traditional um, beauty mm. person. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Anyway. I, don't, I don't think anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Denise, he said. He said. <clears throat> It crushed my schedule. I'll have to be on a sprint to finish the movie on time. Ooh. Which isn't fucking good. Like, they just need to push it back. Yeah, just push it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's, it's really that they get one shot. You mm. get one shot. This will never, ever, they will never, if ever. If they try fuck it up, it's not going to happen again. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Right? And yeah, like, it's understandable. This massive fucking pandemic. Just push it back six months. If you can't get it out by December, don't. Mm. I think they have gone back and they've done all the reshots now. But he's also talking about like editing via Skype and stuff. Yeah, he's and he's just like, yeah. Like, he can't, like, he, he's very much like a hands on person. Mm. He wants to be hands on in the editing room. And, and he's like in fucking Quebec, isolated, talking to his composer and his editor via Skype. Yeah, just push it back six months. We all understand. Yeah, we all get it. Yeah, yeah right? it, it's fine. When, we, uh, when, when was June written? We've waited. Well, so when was the, the, the June movie made? Oh, 84. 84. We've waited like. 26 or yeah, 28 years, but it's like a yeah, regular yeah, 6 months. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear god. I hope, uh, yeah, yeah, just, just, don't, there's no, like, how many cinemas are even going to be open in December? All of them? No. Oh, I don't even know if our, well, uh, so the question is, are our cinemas open? It's actually really cool because they are. But there's no new movies, so they're showing like Jurassic Park and Pulp Fiction and Star Wars and stuff. I've been meaning to go to see one, but I have one of them jobs, so... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You're a plebeian. <sighs> Working for the man. You need to see the means of production. Yeah, Alex. but then, like, uh, the situation over in Europe and America is far more severe. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, yeah. we dodged a bullet just because of our sparse population mm -hmm. and our big land mass. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't think cinemas are open in America or a lot uh, of they're, America. They're, 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 they're sort of, they're bouncing between, like, um... Ignore, trying to ignore it, and then like realizing they can't ignore it. Like, so yeah, they, they keep bouncing in and out, mm. like of of you know, oh yeah, everybody's allowed to do whatever they want. Oh no, they're not now because we are taking serious. Oh no, now they're we're we're, yeah, we're going to spike bounce. and then they'll pull back. Uh, again. Yeah, they're they're all over the place. So it's probably different for each like region and yeah, whoever yeah. owns each cinemas and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so it, it's not going to be given a fair shot. Not by December. Not by December. No, no. Ticket sales are going to be impacted. Like, yeah. There's no way they're not. And you need this movie to make money. I mean, they could they could do the the sort of on demand streaming thing because they, yeah. they they've been playing with that for ages. Yeah, well, they right? did it with a few movies. Yeah, and the system worked. Yeah, yeah. You just pay like five bucks or whatever to. I don't know. I, I, I've got Foxtel, and Foxtel is not a good standard to judge it. No, that. Foxtel's backwards and okay. But I remember some of the movies they've come out with, like that, that were in cinemas or whatever that they released for on-demand streaming was like twenty or thirty dollars mm. or something. It's like, oh, I'm not gonna pay that. Uh, you'd have to be like, you know, like a pay-per-view, like a fight where you get like five or six people to put in for it, and you'd go over yeah. like someone's house and watch it. But thirty bucks to watch a movie. Yeah, I'm not gonna do yourself. that. Yeah, I mean, that's a movie ticket. Yeah, well, that's. <laughs> and even then, I was like, fuck this. Yeah, I'll just watch it on bloody putlocker1.com yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, whichever yeah. the latest thing is. 240p. <laughs> 240p. Dude. <laughs> the camera's like shaking around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, this movie is fucking shit. Oh, man, this fucking movie's boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Villeneuve also went into casting a whole bunch, and it was interesting. Interesting that Timothy Charlemagne was his first choice for Paul Atreides. Is it Charlemagne? Is that his last name? Something like that. That's that's well, what's his face did the album, wasn't it? Charlemagne. Well, Charlemagne was like a, a French king of yeah, significance. Yeah, and and, and 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 Saruman did the song about it. Charlemagne. Probably. <laughs> I don't Look, know. Stevie, it's I don't not know how to pronounce these people's names. Yeah, so, so Timothy, well, how do you pronounce his name? <laughs> I don't know what his last name is. Go on, go on, go on. <clears throat> yeah, he was his first choice as Paul, and he talked about him looking really young, but having this maturity behind Which his eyes. Which is so hard, you'd be, you'd be hard pressed to find like a, an adolescent. Because you'd have to cast, what, 15, I guess, to really get yeah, somebody. Yeah, well, Paul's meant to be 15. Yeah. Um, You'd be pushing shit uphill to get someone who's actually going to act. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. This person who becomes leader of men and like 
rouses an entire society to... Generic young adult movie actor number two. I was like, Anakin, right? Just like the worst cast. Oh, yeah. Ever. You don't believe anything. <laughs> they blow you up! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you need to get someone that looks young, looks the part, but also is able to... Like a seasoned actor. Yeah, yeah, be mature and hold authority and charisma. Well, he was that. really good. It, it, he kind of... It was almost the same sort of role in... Uh, what was The, the King. The, the King. Yeah, yeah, it was. He was the young king that came to power too early. Yeah, and he did well. And that was like the proof of concept for Paul. Yeah, which there you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so. Doctor Sleep was a proof of concept for Jessica. Mm. And then if you watch No Country for Old Man, it has Josh Broyden and uh, um, uh, uh, oh god, what's his name? Javier, Javier Bardem. He's so you got Stilgar and um, fucking Halleck. <laughs> Yeah, he'll play a beautiful still still. Oh, they all, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, casting is immensely great. He's got that. Yeah, he's gonna have that. Is that weird exotic flavor? Yeah, he's also yeah, yeah. like uh, alpha male and dominant. He's big too, eh? He's a yeah, big he's boy. A big yeah, big guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally over little Timothy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's gonna. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, the the. It's so great that he's. I don't know who the hell is giving this guy these budgets, eh? Like who's, what is the budget for this movie? Oh well, if you've got Brolin and you've got Timothy and you've got Javier and you've got Batista, Batista and, and you've got um, Stellan Sarsgaard, <laughs> yeah, oh, Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa, and you've got like who is like nowadays, nowadays is like a triple A fucking actor. Yeah. We remember, we we, remember. we were fans. When his arms were the size of mine <laughs> in Stargate Atlantis. Wait, we won't forget where you come <laughs> from. Remember where you come from. <laughs> Anytime anyone says Aqua, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. No. Ronan. Ronan, <laughs> I guess. Most badass B, yeah. B TV serial <laughs> dude ever. A space guy with dreadlocks shooting <laughs> laser pistols. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so I mean. Like how much is Jason Momoa gonna cost nowadays? What does he cost for a feature film? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Yeah, like a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, could you imagine if they went all the way through it and he was fucking uh, dunking through all of them, <laughs> all the different clones of him with the robot eyes and everything? That would be, be amazing. So cool. Yeah. That's gonna happen. No, no, <laughs> no, they'll, they'll I, never, I they will never ever get to God Emperor of Dune. I at least want to see like fucking children never, when never all ever. his eyes get burnt out. Never ever. <sighs> it would never ever get that far. Jas Jasper and I were talking about uh, James Gandolfini, Tony Soprano playing the fucking uh, the worm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> big, uh, disgusting. Man, Duncan, Duncan, man, Duncan. Duncan. <laughs> all charismatic and fucking polite, and then he just shifts to some psychotic yeah. fucking monster whips his tail around cuts somebody you know, off. That'd be so cool. It's that that those books are too fucking way too off the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. feature film. Cerebral like ex exploration into fucking genetics and psychology. Meanwhile, I mean, and I mean, ecology which and movies shit. like which movie uh, 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 sequels skip like a thousand years into the future? Nah. You know, um, no movie made. I don't think. No. So that's like, you know, you well, know. Well, they're doing Isaac Asimov's Foundation series on the like, Apple TV, and mm. that skips hundreds of thousands of years in between. Yeah, that's that, that's that crazy one. It's not supposed to gonna be really, really, oh, Jasper reference is gonna be really <clears> off <throat> the wall. Is that Apple? Yeah, it's like Apple's streaming service. I guess they're trying to compete with that. Yeah, right and now. it's got, um, what's his name? Jared Harris from The Expanse. Which one's that? Um, you know, the Belter guy. Fuck, he, he takes that scientist and he goes, he was, he was in Chernobyl. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he plays like the main character. That's cool. Yeah, he, oh my god, he is. He's right a great now. actor. He's, he's the son of the first Dumbledore, oh, Richard he? Harris. Yeah, is he yeah, really? Yeah, who was in like Unforgiven and stuff. There you go, Unforgiven's yeah. a fucking good Yeah, actor. yeah, that really old guy. Yeah, that's his dad. Which, which uh, really old guy? Um, he comes to town and they beat the shit out of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, was that Dumbledore? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the first uh, one. Uh, he was the in it for two. English Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's his dad. I love that. That, that guy has great stories. There's like old school 70s talk shows where like he goes on like a black eye and blood lip and talks about getting into bar fights and shit. <laughs> that's he was like a, a seasoned drinker. Classic Dumbledore, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, they were talking about getting Jared Harris to play young Dumbledore in those Harry Potter prequels because oh, yeah. it's like his dad kind of thing. I never seen them. I don't know if he ended up doing it. I don't no, know. no, no. It was um. Oh God, Matthew what's his... McConaughey. No, no, no. It wasn't Matthew McConaughey. God, what's his name? Oh, I'm I'm struggling to think of what his name is now. Um. Bruce Willis as Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> they, need to, they need to put Bruce Willis out in the past. He's done. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> he's fucking... Well, he's in another sci-fi movie that's coming out Is now, he? isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're going to, like, stop a war. Didn't you and I talk about this? I don't think so. But he's going to, like, stop a war or whatever. Is he going to, going to go kill some aliens or something? Is he going to read his lines with any level of, like, <laughs> no, energy? He doesn't get paid. Well, he does get paid. He don't get paid a lot. <laughs> yeah. He's paid a lot to rock up. <laughs> Give a half ass performance. Oh, <laughs> It'll be like it'll be like uh, in Metalocalypse where they're doing um, a blood ocean, yeah, and, and it's in that dude's contract that he's not allowed to direct them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, it's like, oh, that sounds like you're trying to direct it. Oh, no, no, no. no. Just, maybe it would be yeah, really yeah. great if you know you could maybe try and you know make it so we can yeah, understand yeah, yeah. you. Oh no, you're gone. <laughs> That's Bruce Willis. Yeah. He doesn't make eye contact with the director <laughs> or the camera. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. He doesn't learn his lines. <laughs> he also doesn't improvise. I read a thing actually today that um, who's the guy that played uh, uh, Marlon Brando? Mm. That apparently in the Godfather, um, he didn't learn his lines, and they actually had to have billboards up with his fucking lines up there. And and like the mythos was that oh yeah he he thought it made him a better actor because he was <laughs> considering the words to come to him, and the other people were like. No. It just may, it may be he was just an asshole yeah. and didn't want to learn his fucking life. He did the exact same thing on uh, Apocalypse Now. They get to the end and he's like the guy they're looking for. And it's actually really cool. But yeah, he was meant to lose all this weight. Yeah. He was meant to be like this skinny malnutrition thing. And he rocked up and he was fat as shit. And he didn't know his line. <laughs> he hadn't read the script. He hadn't read the book it was based on. <laughs> and Francis Ford Coppola was just like... Mm. <laughs> they just made it up as they went along. Yeah, that's fucking, that's so bad. Maybe I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, Francis Ford Coppola did The Godfather too, so he would have been burnt by him on did The he? Godfather. Yeah, mm. and then he made Apocalypse Now. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no, I'll give him a go again. Didn't learn his lesson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Villeneuve talks about all the casting and he really understands like the themes and mythology oh. and complexity of this novel. He read it when he was like 13 and he was like storyboarding when he was 13 and just the way he talks about like the depth of the material. You know that he knows. He yeah, knows. He understands. Only people that have read the fucking book yeah, know yeah, yeah, about yeah. Dune yeah, and yeah. what it is. How right? deep it is. Right, the like... themes that they're examining. So yeah, he's the right guy to do it. Just this fucking pandemic. For all like the death and despair and suicide and economic catastrophe is brought forth. If the it, worst thing's gonna be if the Doom movie's ruined. <laughs> indeed. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it, though it is interesting, right? We've talked about how sort of troubles and restrictions on movie making can sometimes That's make a true. better movie. There are fuck ton of movies that had terrible, terrible, trouble productions, but... Ended up becoming, yeah, like, amazing, amazing yeah. movies. Yeah, yeah, this might even be the push to, like, make them all just stretch a little bit further. And, like, Villeneuve has the passion, like... Oh, yeah. This is his fucking moment. This yeah. is, like, the culmination This is gonna be his, his legacy. Career. Yeah, 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 yeah he's yeah, gonna yeah. be making the Doom movie, but making it in such a way that it's actually, like, a movie, mm. right, that can be watched. Yeah. And it's, it's excellent. Yeah, and if he pulled that off... It is like you'd be well. He'd be the best sci-fi director ever. Yeah, and then they get to do the second part of the fucking book. No, they don't. <laughs> zero <laughs> makes zero. It makes it makes twenty-four dollars Australian dollars at the box office. Yeah, and that's just. <laughs> We had later on a later on a twenty forty nine like a beautiful crafted piece of artwork. It lost fucking money. It lost fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that, that's why I was surprised anybody gave him any more money to do anything. Yeah, it'd be a bad black spot in his career if this didn't make money. Either. Only only it'd be only, dumb. Only from a monetary. Or he'd be back to independent films, which is fine. That's fine. Low budget um, independent films. I reckon, I reckon Blade Runner 2049 was better than the original Blade Runner. 
Yeah, no, that's fair. I honestly I enjoyed it that. so much more. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, Blade Runner's not a perfect movie narratively. No, it's, not, no. it's very, uh, like, yeah, convoluted and um, undefined narratively. Well, they found it in the edit, right? No. It was another whole yeah, yeah, trouble yeah. production. Well, that's, that's fucking Ridley, right? Yeah, well, that they fired Ridley because he went over budget and schedule a thousand times. Classic <laughs> Ridley. Classic Ridley. Where am I? Is this my home? <laughs> Do you know where I am? Well, and then, yeah, there's several edits of it. But, but Ridley's edit of it is the good one. Yeah, I know. The one without the voiceover explained. Oh yeah, happening. the end or whatever. I think I'm so, I think I'll look that up on YouTube. That's I've seen funny. scenes from it. I haven't seen the full thing. The only it, version I know is the director's. You part. can't imagine not understanding movies to such a degree that that's what you come up with is like a fix for something. Yeah. Some problem that yeah. you have with the movie. Well, it's just assuming the audience is so fucking dumb <laughs> and incapable of understanding anything that you need to like tell them. <laughs> Get Harrison Ford to look down the lens of the camera and go, this is what's happening. I don't know story. what's going to happen now and I don't know what's going to happen Harrison later. Harrison Ford purposely did a really shitty audience. Yeah, and, and they still let it go. It. And they still and went they with it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't uh, make that. Can't make that <laughs> no, that's fucking magical. Yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know which studio is letting him do this. It's like Lionsgate. Okay. They got the rights to it, and mm. they, they approached him. Yeah, but the point of the story is he's the right man for the job, and if it's not ready, we all understand. Push it back six months. I don't need to see by December 26th if it was rushed and if it doesn't work. I mean, it might still work. Yeah, but it won't. It might be less than mm. what it could have been. Yeah, um, they, they need to give, like, they need to ask Villeneuve, like, is this done? Is this complete? Does it work as a film? They don't do it with movies, though. They don't push movies back. That's not a thing that happens. Well, they are now during the pandemic. I mean, like, I know, you know. The new James Bond movie and shit. I was waiting for that, Steve. Is that got um, Daniel Craig? Yeah, that'll be his last one. Oh, really? Yeah. I like Daniel Craig. He's yeah. A good, he's a good Bond. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's actually funny that um, pushing back, it's kind of like the video games industry, right? Mm. You say, usually, usually they don't push back. Uh, it never used to be that they'd push back games. It would be like... There's a release date. date you're going to meet. It would be exactly like on movies, that day. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what Disney does with Star Wars, right? <laughs> um, but these days, uh, it's actually getting more and more... Where they're like, we're gonna push it back. Mm, it's not yeah. ready. We're gonna push it back. And yeah. I wish they'd do that with movies. Yeah, absolutely. That that is the obvious thing to do. Yeah. It's like if, if it's not functioning, why would you release it if it doesn't work? Because it's got to make money. Money, 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 money. Money. That's funny. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Mm -hmm. and, and you know. I have a funny feeling it's coming out December twenty sixth still, <laughs> which may or may not be good. That's not good. And see, <laughs> they're gonna they're, they're gonna bring it out, and it's like eighty percent of it's done, and then the last twenty percent of it is just footage from. <laughs> they were lynches, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, It's just like, just like a hard cut. <laughs> yeah, mid-sentence. <laughs> oh, shifts from Timothy Charlemagne to fucking, what's his face? It'll be like a low definition, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. all granular and a different aspect ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Pure uh, magic. I love doing so much. Uh, you know. They need to do it as a TV series. Yeah, I, know. I feel like the first book needs to be like 22 hours. Well, like they're doing two seasons. Well, they're doing the the, the Ben and Jester, right? Yeah, that's true. That's Is true. Villeneuve doing that? It's directing the first episode. Okay. Although I've heard nothing about that. No. Although that that could be normal. Mm. I don't think it's scheduled for release for like another fucking two years or. Whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So in conclusion. It crushed my schedule. I'll have to be on a sprint to finish the movie on time. I had an existential crisis. <laughs> the pandemic has completely shattered our schedule and the film is in complete chaos and I'm freaking out. They had to, they had to pull me out of the local river when I tried to drown myself. <laughs> I'm talking to my editor via Skype while standing on my milk crate with a noose around my neck. <laughs> lamenting the fact that this project, which my career has culminated in, is crumbling before me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that fucking sucks. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> <laughs> uh.